Hey there, Detroit sports fanatics, and welcome to the Pistons edition on February 23rd, 2014. I'm Taylor Phillips. This is Taylor's Detroit Sports Show. Um, you can uh, search me on Facebook, Taylor Phillips. Uh, like my page, Taylor Phillips's Detroit Sports page. And join Taylor's uh, join Taylor Phillips's Detroit Sports Group. Also, uh, find me on YouTube, Google, Pinterest, stumble upon uh, as Taylor Phillips, and follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at dt 2 Phillips. Also, a chat window. on blogtalkradio.com on my show, Taylor's Detroit Sports Show. So you can comment your opinions there. You can also call in at 646-478-4837 if you have anything to say about the Pistons. Guidelines. Uh, I've added an extra guideline for for this installment. We are not going to talk about the Olympic hockey tournament because I'm uh, still super pissed off at, at how the U U.S. ended up um, finishing their tournament. And we don't want to talk about that. I, do, I know I don't. This is this is the Pistons edition anyway. It's basketball. Why don't we uh, get to it right away? Guidelines, by the way, uh, if if you call in and hung up, uh, read that. Just read out the number. Stay on the line. Uh, the number again is six four six four seven eight four eight three seven. Again, that's six four six four seven eight four eight three seven. So why don't we uh, get started as usual with the weekend review? Pistons were coming off a, coming off the All Star break with a home and home set against the Charlotte Bobcats. And they, they did not fare well at all. Bobcats took the first one, 
Yep. Took the first of two, 108 to 96, 108 to 96. Pistons never, never even led in the game. Never even led in that one. Um, uh, the only upside I could, uh, there were a few upsides. It's there, uh, there though. Pistons only turned the ball over seven times, and they. They have uh, out rebounded. They had out rebounded the Bobcats 52 to 43, and outscored them 54 to 52 in the paint. There was a tie in fast break points with with just eight per per team. Charlotte center Al Jefferson scored 32. That, that's the sixth time in at least nine games he scored at least 30. Also came up with 12 rebounds and 7 assists. Piston shot 39.8% uh, from the field. Not bad at all, but not good either. Um, <sighs> Brandon Jennings led us in scoring with 24 points and picked up 7 assists. Drummond um, snatched 22 boards and cashed in with 16 points, achieving his 40th double-double. You know him. The BBVA Rising Stars Challenge MVP from that other Friday. Just an amazing performance. Um, that was that's an Eastern Conference best and the most by a piston since Grand Hill's 44 double doubles in 1995 to 1996 also grabbed at least six offensive rebounds in eight consecutive games the most by any player by any NBA player since Dennis Rodman one of the bad boys did that eight straight times in 92. One of the Pistons that hasn't stepped up is Rodney, hasn't stepped up is Rodney, is Rodney Stuckey. Is Rodney Stuckey. Shot, shot only one for 11 from the field in just 17 minutes, two points. That helped reduce the piston bench offensively with 13. to uh, Wednesday, the second of the home-and-home home set at Time Warner Cable Arena. Got from bad to worse there. From there. Bobcats out-rebounded us 49-31. to led, And led by as many as 22. Um, 
Jefferson was once again the leader in point in scoring with 29 points. As the Bobcats won again in conv in more convincing fashion, 116 to 98. Bobcats came out uh, more energized in the second half. Pistons did not. And from there, after those last two games, I, I thought nobody could uh, coach those low energetic, lowly energetic Piston players. Not even their interim coach, Tom Lawyer, interim head coach. So that's when that's when even more people point the finger at their general manager, Joe Dumars. And and more and more people constantly are, are urging the franchise to fire that piston bad boy who was once a, gr a great player now just a putrid GM Moving on to Friday, Pistons came back from down from down uh, from down by uh, 11 and a half time to beat the Atlanta Hawks 115 to 107 back up north at the Palace. Outscored the Hawks 34 to 20 in the third, 29 24, 29-24 in the fourth. Greg Monroe uh, finally stepped up with a double-double of his own. 22 points and 15 rebounds. Led Detroit in both, both of those categories. Andre Drummond Got another double double is 41st, 20 points and 11 rebounds. Also uh, another another piston finish with a double double. Josh Smith, 17 points and 10 caroms. That's rebounds. And Brandon Jennings, the list goes on. 12 points and 14 assists. How about, how about all those statistics? Kyle Singler uh, finished with 20 points with two late three-pointers that nailed the coffin in the Atlanta, with the Atlanta Hawks in it.
Pistons totally outscored the Hawks in the paint, 66 to 34. Greg Monroe, from there, had 23 double doubles. Thus far. Brandon Jennings uh, um, for the first two and a half quarters missed his first eight shots including six threes but um, And then got fouled on a three-point attempt and made, made all three free throws, which I saw. Then John Lawyer sat Jennings down and replaced him with Will Bynum. And moving on to tonight. Uh, the, the Pistons just uh, struggled and didn't even didn't even show too much effort on defense against the Dallas Mavericks, who won 113 to 102. I I watched the late portion, I watched the final minutes of the fourth quarter and it looked like the Pistons uh, kept fighting back offensively but they didn't even do anything on defense, they didn't do squat. Dirk Nowitzki uh, led Dallas in scoring with 24 points while Vince Carter the former Toronto the, for, the former Toronto Raptor cash in with 18 the rookie from the 90s he's a, a veteran now still dangerous Josh Smith uh, scored all 32 points in the first three quarters and had a scoreless fourth quarter. I bet that was one of the holes, another one of the holes that uh, the Pistons could have filled out. What, one of the decaying hills, the decaying holes that uh, By the way, one of my friends, uh, Nikki Jensen, was at uh, the Pistons game against the Hawks last night. I, I give a shout out to her. And uh, tell her I'm, gl I'm glad she had fun at, and they won that game. I'm happy for you, hon. Um, uh, back to tonight's game. Mavericks out-rebounded the Pistons 50-39. Uh, to 39. Pistons out, outscored the Mavericks on the fast break 24-8. to 8, and, it, and in the paint 58-54. to 54. The only Pistons only led by as many as two. The Mavericks led by as many as thirteen. It was uh, one of the closest games the Pistons ever have ever played, win or lose.
Pistons only turn over the ball, turn the ball over ten times. So uh, losing three out of three out of the four the past week usually is not a good sign. Puts the Pistons at now 23 and 33. Uh, three and a half behind the the eight the eighth place Atlanta Hawks now, who have struggled, although they won their last game. Charlotte Bobcats have, have now won four in a row. Climbed up to 27 and 30. Pistons uh, finished their homestand against the Golden State Warriors Monday at 7.30 on Fox Sports Detroit. Then on Wednesday they hit the road. They had to had a Texas for a Texas two game road trip. Two game road trip. First off they tangle with the San Antonio Spurs on Wednesday at eight thirty on Fox Sports Detroit Plus and on ninety seven won the ticket. And then they take two days off before heading to Houston to take on the Rockets. Dwight Howard. 8 o'clock tip-off time. Fox Sports Detroit. 97 won the ticket. In Detroit. In Southfield, the Detroit area. Uh, so all, all three of their opponents the upcoming in the upcoming week are from the Western Conference. Spurs are just that damn good. Second place in the West, first in the Southwest Division, 40 and 16. Houston right behind them, third place in the West, second in the Southwest, 37 and 18. Same record as the Portland Trailblazers. Clippers uh, are in fourth place, but are 37 and 20. I, th I think I think the Clippers should be in fifth place, and it and the Portland Trailblazers should be. Uh, Should be tied for third place in the West with with the Rockets. So my question to you about the Pistons from here is, uh, which do you want the Pistons to do from here? Still try to make the playoffs or keep losing games to get a great draft lottery pick? which uh, Joe Dumars and owner Tom Gores might not get anyway because they always lock out. They always never lock. They always don't lock out with anything good. They never get the first uh, overall pick because it's way too tough for them. Call in at 646-478-4837. Got five minutes left on the show. Write the number down, 646-478-4837. Uh, the only college basketball score I can give to you is, from, is in women's basketball. CMU 
beat Northern Illinois 85-77 on in uh, DeKalb. Upcoming games tomorrow, Michigan State at Michigan at noon on CBS. Tune in that one. Same time, the Daytona 500 is going to be going to be on Fox. Northern, then Northern Illinois at Central Michigan and Eastern Michigan at Western Michigan. Both games tip off at 2 o'clock. Other Detroit sports updates in college hockey. Michigan beats Penn State 5-2. to Wisconsin shuts out Michigan State 2-0. Ferris State beats Alaska Anchorage 5-3. Michigan Tech beats uh, Edges NMU 3-2. LSU Lake Superior State Edges Alabama Huntsville 3-2. And Western Michigan prevails over Nebraska Omaha five to three, and the Tigers open spring. The Tigers open spring training. The preseason with with their first game in Lakeland. It's at home against the Florida Southern Mox. I bet the Tigers will win there. And that'll just just about wrap it up for tonight's Detroit Sports Show Pistons edition. Uh, next week is another is just another Pistons edition. Oh, that's right. Um, since the Olympics is uh, coming to an end, apparently tomorrow, the Red Wings will be back in action on Wednesday when they head to northeastern Canada to take on the Montreal Canadiens and then the Ottawa Senators. The Canadiens game will be on Wednesday, so. My our my first Red Wings edition of Taylor's Detroit Sports Show will be will be on Saturday night at eleven. And then and then the Pistons edition at midnight. It's all it's all the same night next weekend. So uh just tune in. Till then have a good rest of have a good week. TTFN Tata for now. Taylor Phillips signing off.